trivia question, what does this double M logo here stand for? Well, it's Maybach, a German ultra luxury brand resurrected in the 2000s by Mercedes-Benz and back now here as a version of the current generation of the S-Class, Mercedes flagship luxury sedan. Let's see what makes the Maybach S-Class an even more flagship experience. Now Mercedes wants to make Maybach a separate sub-brand sold in Mercedes showrooms, so this will be called the Mercedes Maybach instead of Mercedes-Benz S600. Overall length about 8 inches longer than the regular S-Class, which is already kind of an extended wheelbase car here in the United States. That goes to make rear seat room absolutely outrageous. Check this out. I'm 6 feet tall. I have enough room to like play basketball or something up here. The seats go back like they do in the regular S-Class, but there actually are Ottomans here that extend outward and upward so you can put your legs up here. There's lots of leather around you. There's quilted leather here along the center console that flows all the way through here to the back seat. There's leather in the headliner. There's these tables that come out here. You can put them up, have a little bit of workspace if you want. There's screens on the back of the front seats. All pretty opulent here. All in the name of really treating the backseat passenger to something special in the Maybach. Uh, and here's the kicker. The Mercedes Maybach S600 won't even be the most expensive S-Class you can buy. It'll cost around $200,000, Mercedes says. That's about $30,000 more than the regular S600, a little less than uh, high-end S-Classes like the S65 AMG. So all of that, more information, our driving impressions, all of that will come closer to the car's on-sale date in the spring of 2015. Now, this is pretty comfortable, so I'm going to put the seat back and go away for a while.